Welcome to this week's episode of Jim and Java. I'm Jim Dempsey, your host. Well, we are rapidly moving through September on our way to year end. And this is quite a busy time of the year. More and more of our efforts and our programs are coming to the surface. We're starting to see events materialize. And of course, as we start to move to October, November, December, we start to focus in a lot on year end. And if you're like me, you are rapidly considering all the options and opportunities that exist with year end. We uh, send out millions of pieces of direct mail to our constituents, and we also include in there, we sprinkle the uh, social media, email marketing opportunities that exist out there, and also we have very personalized, very targeted mailings for our major donors and our mid-level donors. So there's just a lot of activity, a lot of things going on. This uh, end of the year is an important time as we see more than a third of our income come in in these last three to four months. So I hope that this is a fruitful time for you as well too. Well, it's always exciting to be here each week to answer your fundraising questions. If you enjoy what you see and want to be a life changer with us, we would love to have you as part of this community and part of this team and all that we are doing. We're seeing some exciting things happen. And if you aren't already a subscriber, please join us. All you need to do is just subscribe below and you'll get regular reminders of the principles and practices that uh, I'll put out there each week for you at this time. Well, let's dive right into our question of the week. Our question of the week is from Doug in Indianapolis, Indiana. And Doug asks, what are some ways to convert event attendees and program participants into donors? Well, Doug, thank you very much for that question. I appreciate it. Over the years, I've been a big advocate of events and activities. And if you are currently challenging individuals at many of your events to give. Uh, that is really the best way to do it. But I think the intention of your question is that you do events such as concerts or maybe other lectures, uh, Veritas forums, any kind of gathering with your uh, either current partners or prospective partners. And you'd like to get those people to begin to give to your organization. Um, you probably want to know some of the tips and suggestions. That's the nature of what I'm hearing in your question here. And my recommendation always is, is to provide as many opportunities for people to give as they possibly can uh, coming out of those events. So within the, the either a day or two days, I always like to get something out in 24 to 48 hours after an event thanking them for coming and giving them an opportunity to partner with you financially. Uh, that can be sent either in hard copy, snail mail, mailing to people, or can go out in an email, depending on what kind of, of uh, communication that uh, you have, whether you've got a mailing address for them, whether you've got an email from them. Uh, if you have both, I would really take advantage of both opportunities. I don't think it's wrong to give people multiple opportunities to give, multiple ways to give. Nowadays, we are spanning a, a number of generations in the individuals that we're reaching out to and serving, everything from baby boomers to Gen X to millennials to Gen Z. And so all of them respond in different and very unique ways. So I would really take advantage as much as possible of the opportunities that are out there. And I would not just stay with one opportunity for, for people to give. I would go once a month for three months in as an initial process so that people get used to who you are and the frequency of your communication. Uh, we oftentimes call that a Genesis series. A Genesis series of emails or letters introduces someone to the organization. Let them know who you are, what your mission, your vision, your values are, why you started the problem that was uh, that was originally 
out there that you were designed and created to solve and focus in specifically on opportunities that we have. Build on those opportunities for them to give to your organization and take advantage of those opportunities. I also would look for ways that you could connect with people who may have brought them to those events. If they came as a guest of someone, if they came as a referral from someone else, utilize those relationships. Go to those people who brought them and see if they'd be willing to be a representative and to challenge those people for you. So Doug, I hope that helped you in answering your question as far as ways to reach out to people. Afterwards, I think it's critical and I think it's very important to utilize every opportunity that you possibly can. So I hope that this was helpful for you. If you are interested and like what you've heard and would like to be part of this life changer community, we would love to have you as part of that. And please subscribe and check us out on Instagram and join our Facebook group, Development Effectiveness Strategies and look for opportunities to interact with people on that. We've got some great questions always coming out from our audience and responses back. And so if you've got questions in that way, you can do it. You can always reach out to me at developmenteffectivenessm at gmail.com. As I always say, we're here to help you increase income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.